Or at least it will give me some minor armor if I need it. I should probably use my spells a lot more. Especially with these guys. Uh, okay. Haha, <laughs> we are level 4, so we are actually doing better than I expected. Okay, so that's an adder. And last time we played with an adder, we had trouble. So let's let's actually cast a bunch of pain at it. And let's... Great. So let's eat our rotting meat. And wait for our... Uh, do do do. Yeah, excellent. So now my now my magic is back. Aha. So a bunch of newts. Even though they are giant, they are still not that dangerous. Especially if my pain works. It mm, it sometimes doesn't, but sometimes it does. Pain is a bit unpredictable. You can fail the spell, it might not work, and there's a bunch of these. Let's move into a corridor, that way they can only attack me one at a time. Okay, I'm taking damage. I'm going to cast some spells. Uh-huh, and then a rat. So there are a couple of corpses here, we can butcher those. All of them. And there is a skeleton, so now we can finally get a new minion. Oh, so my potion of blood has koalju... Koalju... Oh, whatever. I'm, I think I'm going to just drink that. It tastes like blood, well... <laughs> the mystery solved, I guess. Let's use... yes, yeah. Pain is good. Pain is good. Let's wait. There are more newts in that direction, so I might as well just wait a bit. I'm going to butcher that. I guess I'm not going to butcher that because the newt just woke up. But I can butcher it now. And I have a bunch of meat. And... I'm basically at full health, so there's no reason to stop exploring. Uh, that adder. Maybe I should enable stealth again, because my stealth sucks. I can't actually sneak up on these guys. At all. So how is my unarmed combat? It's 1.8, so actually we're doing well. Our unarmed combat is increasing at a rapid pace. We can't eat any fruit, so that fruit is kind of useless. But who cares? <sighs> Failed that spell, but that worked. Some of these can't... By the way, I, I probably didn't finish my sentence about... Uh... <sighs> if you're going to throw rocks at me, I'm going to throw pain at you. So, don't do that. So, uh, pain is unpre pre uh, unpredictable because... You can both fail at casting it, but they can often resist it. So it's not just that you might miss or you might uh, fail to cast it. You also need to worry about whether or not the target can resist it. But of course that's with many other spells as well. And I think... I think pain doesn't... Uh, there's no aiming with pain. So you can't miss pain, you can just fail to cast it or you might... Uh, the enemy might uh, resist it. And my unarmed combat is now level 2, so we are actually doing quite well. We need to be careful. And I need to eat my flesh because it's probably going to rot away too soon. Mm -hmm. So the gecko is trying to kill me, but he is not doing that well. Let's see what these potions are. So that's an invisibility potion. That's something new. I haven't seen an invisibility potion before.
Uh huh. That might be handy in some situations, especially if I need to run away. Now I can just basically tank. There's, <laughs> there isn't really anything to worry about at the moment, and I don't want to cast pain on my skeleton. That won't work. I might as well just. Uh, I can't butcher that before those guys are dead. So I think I'm just going to cast a bunch of pain. Like that. And no skeletons. That's fine. I'm just going to eat that flesh. Oh, another jackal. And my necromancy is also uh, leveling up quite fast. And my aptitude for unarmed combat is also plus one, so I'm doing actually quite well with uh, unarmed combat. I might... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to enable stealth again, just so that I get a bit of stealth. It's not going to be much, it's just a couple of percent, so it's probably going to be... Uh, yeah, it's probably not going to matter. Uh, maybe I'm just going to turn that down. Actually... I probably can... yeah, I can increase it by doing that. So these don't really matter with these. That's good to know. So I'm, go I'm just going to disable spellcasting for a moment and in uh, focus on necromancy. Actually, my necromancy is doing quite well, so I might just... Yeah, let's do that, actually. And but let's also do that, so I get some dodging and some unarmed combat and some stealth. And let's wait. An adder. I don't like adders. Even though they are not that bad when you are a ghoul like me, they still are annoying. They are quite powerful even when they can't poison you, they are not just that powerful. And then that's a Quoka or something. Whatever it is. And it's resisting my pain. But I don't really mind. Let's eat. I should probably check. Uh, let's use an identify on one of the. Actually, let's drink that. Oh, that's a potion of might. What's it? What is this? So that's a heal. Good. So now we have a couple of potions that we still haven't quite figured out, but they can wait. And a cockroach. Not that bad. And let's just turn auto exploration on. Okay, and butcher that, and animate it. Great, so now we have ourselves a new minion. And some gold. Gold is just basically f for score. There's... I haven't seen any shops or anything, so... I imagine it's probably just score. Okay, and we didn't get a gecko skeleton out of that. And adder. Another one. Uh, because my uh, my newt is not attacking, I'm probably just going to engage. And it's dead. Also, our flesh is rotting away, so let's eat some of this flesh. Awesome. And a lot of more, a lot more of this flesh has now rotted. I'm probably going to lose this, but I'm going to find more of it, so it's not that bad. I might use one of these on some of these potions. So we two, we have two of these purple potions. So let's see what those do. And we got another shot with this scroll. So let's do the green one. So we have a potion of resistance and 
two potions of paralysis, so that's a bad one. We don't want to drink that. But the resistance potion is good. Well, let's start casting away. This worm needs to die. And I'm going to let my friendly skeleton handle it if he wants to do so. It doesn't matter too much. We haven't gotten any divine aid, so I'm guessing that my choice of a god was bad. But hey, at least we haven't really gotten cursed or anything. There are gods that are quite, uh, well, playful. And they can do funny stuff like, uh, well, they are basically just random, so you can never really trust them. Oh, that's a boa. I don't want that. If I can avoid it, because they uh, these can uh, like contract you, and uh, that's bad. So you don't want that. You want to be able to move freely. So I think we are going to move on to the level three. Usually by this point there are going to be some orcs. So we need to be careful. Uh, just a cobalt. Uh, don't worry. Don't need to worry about those. And a bat. Uh, because you're running away, I'm just going to cast a slice of pizza. Now what is this? Well, whatever it is, I'm eating it. There's no question about that. But that's good. So we have pizza. I have no idea when this game had pizzas, but I have never seen them before. Though I only have a couple of hours in this game. An elven, an uncursed elven leather armor of cold resistance. Hmm. Technically, that would be good, but I haven't really encountered any cold enemies. So I'm not sure if that's necessary for me. Also, my dodging is doing a lot better now. I might want to turn on necromancy soon, though. Uh, what am I doing? So, because of our increased melee capabilities, we can now actually engage these guys without having to worry about everything. Ah. Die, Adder. You don't want to eat me, so there's no reason for you to fight me. Let's eat some of this flesh. But we are also going to rest just a bit to get that mana back. So no orcs, which is a good thing, but we haven't found any uniques either. Which is a bit worrying because it, to me that tells that they are going to happen soon and we might see a multiple, multiple different... What are these? So these are a bunch of nulls. Uh-huh. Somewhat dog-like in appearance. I'm just going to move into this corridor and just finding them here. I wonder, did these guys have any... Uh, yeah, they look easy, so they don't have any resistances or anything like that. Easy? They are killing me. I'm going to eat. And... Okay, so that guy has a spear. We want to kill. We want to kill him as soon as possible. We are getting low on health. This is bad. Ah, uh, do 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 Teleport. Even worse. Okay, so this is when we are going to die, most definitely. An orc wizard, an orc. So yeah, I mentioned about the orcs. And fighting orcs now is a bad thing. That's a potion of brilliance. A priest. Yeah, there is no way out because uh, the the wizards and the priests are super, super.
difficult. These priests can kill you with a single hit because they have divine aid. Wait a minute, do I have... yeah I have invisibility so I should be able to run away if I'm fast enough. Though I do make sounds still so they might be able to follow me. Yeah, they are definitely following me still. I'm worried. I need resistance and I need to cause some pain. Low hit points, yeah I know. Beneficial mutation. So we got a mutation but we died. Because the orc wizard just threw a magic dart at us. And we died. So what did we have? We had ancient weapon, uh, useless, and random uselessness. Would have been nice to cast that, but I, uh, I didn't, and we lost the pizza. Ah. But hey, we are on the fifth place, so we didn't do that bad. But yeah, I think that's enough of dungeon crawl stone soup for now. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. And by the way, I have a link to this game down in the description. I tend to have those, so you can download this game for your op uh, operating system of choice. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and we will see in future videos.